Okay, we're in Brookfield, Illinois today. We're going to be looking at doing a rehab on these concrete steps. We're going to show you the full process front to back, uh, which is a brief uh, clean up and sweep down at the beginning. We're going to come in with an initial power wash. We're going to get rid of a lot of the loose debris and everything that's on the surface. We are then going to come in with an acid wash to break the surface, make it a little bit more porous, uh, giving us the best possible bond between the old material and the new material. And then we're going to show you uh, the process of putting down the Prospect CR, the concrete resurfacing polymer modified cement mix. This stuff is fantastic. And we're going to show you how that goes down, then we're going to show you the finished product. Okay, step number one. You want to get in and clean out a lot of the cracks, clean off a lot of the loose debris on the surface and make it prepped for the power wash. Okay, we're wrapped up on the initial power wash to clean off a lot of the debris. What we're going to do right now is we're going to do a 10 to 1 mix of muriatic acid to water. So 10 parts water to 1 part muriatic acid. Make sure you've got rubber gloves on, eye protection, rubber shoes if at all possible, rubber boots. And we're going to apply that. Once we get it inside that sprinkling can, which is an effective way of putting it down, we're going to apply it to the concrete surface. We'll show you how that works. Always be careful to pour acid into water and not water into acid. That's uh, Chemistry 101. Okay, we're applying a 10 to 1 muriatic acid wash over the top of the concrete. It's going to break the surface, clean it up, give us the best possible bond between the old surface and the new polymer modified concrete we're going to apply. Okay, we've let the muriatic acid sit for a couple of minutes per manufacturer's instructions. What we're going to do right now is just with a light mist, come in there and dilute whatever acid is on the surface. You don't want to be coming back in here with a power wash spraying acid all over. So basically just come in with a soft spray and dilute and wash off whatever acid is present on the concrete. And then we're going to come back in for a final quick power wash. All right, the second power wash is really important. It cleans that acid off of there and gets down there for a real good cleaning, which is going to be essential in terms of bonding between the old surface and the new polymer modified concrete. So really work the surface real well with your power washer for the second power wash. Okay, on these particular stairs, we're using a uh, shop vac, reverse. So instead of sucking, it's actually blowing out the other end, high pressure. It's really going to help get a lot of the water out of the cracks and off the surface to really expedite the drying process so we can get right down to doing the uh, resurfacing work. Okay, we're about halfway through the stairs. And we're using a sponge float as we apply the Prospect CR. Real easy to work with. Sponge float certainly is a great tool to be using on the stairs. Uh, a lot more flexibility as far as moving product around, smoothing things out. We're also going to be using a brush right down in there to kind of smooth it out and give it that brush finish. It's probably about one of the easiest tools to get in there. We'll show you the finished product in just a few moments. All right, here's another job wrapped up with Prospect CR, a complete resurface from the top all the way to the bottom of the stairs. There you have it, the entire process from start to finish on how to put down Prospect CR concrete resurfacing mix.